What's going on guys? Chia Snow right here. Happy Women Day for any girl watching this video. I mean the only 7% girls watching this channel and any other girl in the world. And in today's video we're going to uh, discuss about the iPhone 7 iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak and what is the correct IPA you should be using and what are the caveats. Now I'm making this video as a follow-up because uh, a lot of people have been asking me about this jailbreak, what are the problems with it, whether it's safe or not to try it on your iPhone 7, because you probably know if you try an unsa unstable jailbreak and you get some problems, it might be uh, requiring you to restore the device and you'll lose the ability to jailbreak. So um, this is a follow-up to this video that I made, iOS 10.2 jailbreak for iPhone 7, will it ever come explained? And in that video we discussed a lot about the iPhone 7, about look at the Tesco's plans and whether you should try jailbreaking your iPhone 7 or not. And I think, I think I'm speaking for a lot of people when I say it's really confusing and uh, I'm going to try to make things clear today. Now a lot of you have been asking me in the comment section down below, if I scroll down in here to the comments, uh, you will see a lot of comments asking, wait, there really is a jailbreak for um, for iPhone 7? Yes, there really is a jailbreak. I know it's not heavily promoted because it is a little bit unstable and because people actually forgot about this. But uh, yes, if you go here on Yalu, there is a beta. Actually, it's not this beta. I thought it's this one, but it's not this one. It's actually Mac Portal. Some of you know about it, but I'm going to discuss about it anyways. It's the first iteration, the Yalu, dot, Yalu Plus Mac Portal. It's available here on the same website, but you can see it's after this line. Um, and it's another beta to say so. As you know, beta 1, beta 2, beta 3 of the, uh, the Yalu are different in here, up to beta 7. And for those of you who want to jailbreak the iPhone 7, uh, you need to use this one which is definitely working for the moment, but for Tempo 1.1. And what I wanted to discuss is the um, the actual beta that you can use. Now, uh, some of you told me about beta 4 being listed as broken, but you can download it, so it's not broken. Well, look at this code, didn't mean, didn't meant the uh, beta link itself being broken. Yes, I know you can click it and download it, with no problem, but the beta itself, when you install it and try to jailbreak, has a lot of problems. But let's see what we're losing if you're using beta 3, which is actually the one that actually works on the iPhone 7. Well, beta 3 doesn't include mobile substrate, doesn't include device support. Uh, oh no, yeah, uh, the device support, it's uh, unchanged, sorry. The uh, Pros XP hangs rather than panicking, so in the beta 3 it panics. Uh, OS should be way more stable, so in beta 3 the iOS operating system is a little bit uh, less stable than on the beta 4 that is broken. I don't really, I can't really imagine how it's more stable if the beta itself is broken, but anyways, it may it may have some new issues if, um, if the OS does not come back after re reloading, reboot and try again. Planet feature for the next release, gamma for device support, anyways. Um, so actually you need to download the beta 3, I'm going to download it as well. So this is the beta that should be tried on the iPhone 7. But the problem with it is that you have to activate the mobile substrate manually. Why is that? You probably remember this beta. Uh, this, this was actually the first iteration of Yalu. When Yalu jailbreak appeared, this was the page. This was actually the content of the page. And then Luca Tedesco started a whole new project in the same page, starting from beta 1 again for all the devices. This betas in here do not support the um, iPhone 7. All the 64-bit devices except iPhone 7. So um, if you're using Yalu plus Mac Portal or Match Portal, you need to know that you need to activate that uh, mobile substrate manually, which means that uh, some of the tweaks will work erratically, some of the tweaks may not work at all. Do I recommend you to do this? No. Uh, you can do it, yes, you can uh, try this and you can jailbreak your iPhone 7 right now by sideloading the Mac Portal Plus Yalu Beta 3 on your device and jailbreak will be okay. It's, yeah, it's stable, but look at the Tedesco made this um, in, um, actually I think in, in January and it wasn't updated ever since. Now a gamma release, as you can see from here somewhere, yeah, in here, a gamma release should have been released, but it wasn't released. And we discussed in this video right here that Luca Tedesco said it's going to be released at some point, but he simply doesn't have the time and it isn't a, um, 
Uh, it, it isn't something very important. It's not a priority for the moment, so you need to wait. So yeah, if you want to jailbreak your iPhone 7, you can do that on iOS 10.1.1. The beta tree is not compatible, and I want to actually stress this enough, it's not compatible with iOS 10.2. It's going to be at some point, as look at the disco said, and as we discussed in this video, that you need to see. If you didn't see it, go ahead and watch it. It's actually short, only seven minutes, but I explain a lot of things in here. And um, the iOS 10.1.1 is available for the moment. I mean, you can jailbreak it, but again, it is very, very unstable and I do not recommend to do so if you're not experienced. Now, you can activate the mobile substrate using a terminal command and I'm, I will probably make a video about that if it's requested on the channel. But you need to keep in mind that uh, it's still a little bit unsafe to do so. I mean, yes, you can enable it, but you might expect a lot of hangouts, you might, uh, you might expect a lot of reboots, a lot of resprings, a lot of um, kernel panics and so on. Yes, that can't definitely kill your device or put it in an unstable state that requires restore just by the fact that it hang. Because if you restore the device, the modifications to the kernel should be uh, erased. But do not try to install tweaks. If you install, uh, well, specific tweaks, for example, uh, App Sync or any other tweaks related to this on your iPhone 7 jailbroken, you might have serious issues. So to recap this video and to finish it up, yes, you can actually jailbreak your iPhone 7 and it's down below in here, the beta 3. Do not try the beta 4, it's completely broken. And uh, the mobile substrate does exist but it will need to activate it manually and if you're not if you're not actually proficient with the iOS and how iOS works you should probably not jailbreak for the moment even though it will take a little bit longer to get a jailbreak at least when you do get it you are sure that you get a stable release, hopefully soon. So I'm going to keep you updated if something gets released for the iPhone 7. iPhone 7 is definitely in my mind when it comes to jailbreak, I didn't forget about it and I don't know why I didn't make this video earlier. <laughs> but anyways, this is actually the situation. If you want, you can go ahead, download the IPA for jailbreak in the description down below. If you want to risk a little bit, it's actually safe, but depends on anything you do. So do not try to go into curiosities to download various tweaks that might affect your device. Only download tweaks that you know are compatible with your device. Until the next time, I'm Geosnow, stay safe and peace out.